Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to some Binding of Isaac with me, the Unknown Variable. And, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right on in here. And, uh, see what we can do. Again, I will abide by my, uh, three run rule where I can restart, well, twice. And, uh, lard is good enough for me to, uh, definitely not want to restart this run. So, we'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, one half heart of recovery and two heart containers and a speed down the speed down uh, Definitely sucks However, the two health upgrades are definitely worth it because uh, we could easily turn those into um, some sort of benefit in the uh, devil room that we hopefully get on the second floor, so <clears throat> That's my story and I'm sticking to it so, we'll go ahead and take out this guy. Yeah, there we go. That guy should be uh, very dead soon after him. And go ahead and pick that up. Shoot the poop, because you never know. Could be something valuable. And we'll carry on. Um, so, key is very nice. And two hearts. And whatever these poops could potentially give us. Um... Uh, not gonna stick around for that and a self-sacrifice room. So uh, We will go ahead and pick these up right away because why not? <clears throat> and Actually, let's go and check for the secret room here first uh, There could be a tinted rock in the boss room and that would be more valuable than the secret room to me. So um, There isn't so I mean it's you know, whatever we can just go back and look for it after we're done with this boss fight so <clears throat> And I think this boss fight should theoretically give us a spirit heart, which would be really valuable for the next floor and preserving our devil room chance. So, I look forward to that. And luckily for us, I feel like this Gemini is a lot slower than he otherwise would be. That was awkward. Um, so, our speed down actually isn't that big of a deal in this situation, which is nice. So, let's see if we can get this guy pinned up against the wall. Uh, come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on. I can't, like... Can't quite get him there. I don't know. Oh, well. well I guess we'll just juggle him a little bit. Um, we'll be fine either way. So... There we go. There, no, there was like three or four shots only, but better than none, I guess. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I apologize for that. There we go. There's a spirit heart. A shot speed up and a tarot card is definitely not worth picking up, so I'm not going to touch that at all. And then we'll go over and look for the secret room here. And indeed, there it is. A uh, unicorn horn. Awesome. Uh, I mean, we'll probably end up swapping it out for a better spacebar item, hopefully. But uh, for now, it's fine. And especially on the second floor, where we're going to try our very hardest to not take any damage in order to guarantee ourselves a devil room. So, without further ado, let's go on down and uh, see what we've got going on in here. Nothing too bad. Just got to pay a little bit of attention and, you know... Just make sure we keep on firing, firing away, fire away, fire away. Yeah, I don't know. Judge me, fucking judge me right now. Oh shit, I immediately regret this decision. Um, okay, honestly, it could have ended worse than it did. Okay, now if we take any damage, uh, we lose ourselves the guarantee. And essentially the possibility of getting a devil room. So, I don't know why I didn't use the unicorn horn on this room. That would have been actually a really smart thing to do. But, uh, I guess I'm not a smart person. So, I didn't. And, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if I come across another difficult room, um, I will definitely use the unicorn horn on it. To make sure I don't take any damage. So, careful now. There we go. <clears throat> I'm uh, just looking for the boss room, or honestly, just anything. Okay, this is definitely a little scary. <clears throat> as long as it's like, 
Jabberwocky of a spider doesn't come flying at me for no reason, we should be good. But he is dead, so that is no longer a relevant problem. And, oh god, okay, that was a little close. That will be useful for playing the Blood Bank after we fight the boss. And these guys should be uh, pretty easy to take out, as long as we uh, stay directly above them. There we go. And we're going to definitely check out the item room here. Which is Crack the Sky. And um, Unicorn Horn is definitely better. So it sucks that we're going to miss out on this item room and last floor's boss room. That is really shitty, actually. But we will touch this and put it back down <clears throat> to ensure that it doesn't show up again. But anyways, now to go and fight the boss. Um, ye olden boss is Duke of Flies, which should be really easy for us to uh, take out here, especially with the Unicorn Horn. Uh, so provided we take out these uh, flies here without taking any uh, damage, we should have guaranteed ourselves... The Devil Room, and indeed, there it is. And in addition to the Devil Room, the Pentagram, which is absolutely amazing. That's a damage upgrade for us. And the Mark is also a damage up, and gives us a Spirit Heart for the cost of the two Red Hearts, and the damage up. So we're firing Red Tears, which means we're doing more than five damage. I'm not picking up Brimstone, don't worry. Um, so now we have two full Red Hearts that we can play that Blood Bank with, and... An HP upgrade plus speed upgrade in the form of the blood bag would be absolutely stellar. So, let's see if we can't uh, swing that our way. And I will play it down to one heart before I go pick, out, pick up those other two hearts so that we can poke our head in here and see stem cells, which is a health up, but it is also a shot speed up, which kind of sucks, but I think it's worth it. So, we are going to pick it up. And we'll be fighting Monstro and Larry Jr. So it shouldn't be... I don't anticipate it being a problem. <clears throat> if we take a little bit of damage, whatever. I guess I'm over it. Um, I'd prefer not to, obviously. But, like I said, if we take a little damage... Um, we have enough health that I guess it's like at least a little bit sustainable to mess up every now and again. But, provided we keep our messing up to a relatively low frequency, we should be alright. So, Monstro is soon to be deceased and is indeed deceased now for Larry Jr. Um, so we just gotta be a little bit careful while we're doing this and we should be good uh, oh god thread the needle thread the needle okay that was a little scary but I think we made it out alright so just keep kinda firing shots in every now and again oh whoo. this guy is like hunting my ass down so, it looks like we're going to make it without taking any damage, which is actually really nice, because we get to preserve those spirit hearts that we have. <coughs> um, okay. And I suppose we might as well go and fight the rest of the floor, um, because we could use some more bombs, slash tinted rocks, or any other consumables that the game would like to offer us. Um... So, shoot all these fires, hope for a payout, so on and so forth. And... Nothing? Are you kidding me right now? Wow, nothing out of any of those. That's actually kind of impressive. And hopefully we get a consumable drop after this. A uh, penny. That's fine. Um, not really going to try and look for the secret room. So... Uh, yeah, without further ado, I suppose we had better... Oh, okay. I'll pick up the two red hearts. And then... <clears throat> after... I'll, I'll pick up the two red hearts. I'll play the blood bank twice more. That will put us at three red hearts and two spirit hearts. Um, And let's blow it up. Why not? Hopefully it gives us some money. Oh, shit. Okay, that was almost really bad. Um, alright, so, now we've got almost enough money to make the shop viable, which, I, we're not going to get enough money to make the shop viable on this floor, but hopefully it turns out to, uh, work in our favor next floor, um, which is Catacombs 1, so that's a little bit sucky, but I think we'll be alright. Oh, provided we don't get hit by that, oh, a speed upgrade would be nice, um, 
That way we could dodge those things a little bit easier. But alas, we do not have a speed upgrade. And uh, we did find a free secret room. So that's uh, really nice. But kind of sucks that we lost that spirit heart. Uh, regardless, let's check out our secret room. Spider bite. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, basically, that gives our tears a percent chance to slow enemies upon hit. So that's actually, that's just, that's just amazing. I almost would have preferred money, um, but by the same token, not really. Uh, you can see spider bike doing some work there. And these neutral flies are a little bit scary, but we should be alright. Uh, provided we're not stupid about anything here. So, this golden poop is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, some more cash flow for us to make the shop definitely viable now. And some greed heads and a spider. Okay, everyone calm down. I really would like to get a bomb so I could get that tinted rock. That'd be nice. Uh, one of the greed heads is gone. Or I think they're keepers, actually. So go ahead and do that. He's dead. Got another scent. Um, check out our item room here, which is telepathy for dummies. Absolute garbage. Uh, I mean, there's worse items out there. We'll leave it at that, though. <laughs> um, we'll take Unicorn Horn with us, of course. And uh, we might as well fight the boss, honestly. Um, Pestilence. Not what I was worried about, but at the same time, kind of like, eh, I hope we don't have to fight a Horseman of the Apocalypse. And... Of course we are, but I don't think it should be that big of a deal, especially with Spider Bite. Um, the slowing effect on Plus, Pestilence will be really nice, make it easy for us to uh, kind of just control them and keep them in one place, as it were. So Pestilence is almost dead due to our amazing damage and Spider Bite. So we pick up our cube of meat, and uh, we'll grab that Spirit Heart, we'll grab that Half Heart, and we'll finish exploring this floor. Um, in hopes that we find the shop relatively soon, and there within we could hope to find a bomb, or, um, oh, a bomb and an item, so that we could, uh, pop open that tinted rock there, or we could just find a bomb naturally anywhere else on the floor, that'd be awesome too, that way I don't have to spend money on one, but I will definitely spend money on a bomb if there is one in the shop, that's gonna hurt, there we go, um, <coughs> And shop, here we are. No bomb, but we do find a 15, per 15 cent mom's coin purse. Um, that really sucks. That actually really, that really blows. Uh, okay, pretty fly. Pretty fly is good. Uh, the health down sucks. So we're definitely going to pick up that five cent, um, five cent, what have you. And... If we get a devil room next floor with a really good two heart item, <coughs> I will take the two heart item, be at one health, and then use this health down pill as a health up pill. Uh, I believe it works like that, and if not, well, I guess I'll screw myself over, and that will kind of suck. Oh, that's, yep, okay. And the explosion radius of those bombs is absolutely insane. So there goes our five cent here spirit heart that we bought. So that really sucks. Um, money down the drain, I guess. But I don't know. Ah, uh, so where are we at with our lives? Um, not a good place, that's for sure. Let's see. Do I want to sacrifice my only spirit heart to check out the curse room? I think I do. Um, okay, so I regret that decision. However, we do... No, no, that wasn't worth it at all. Okay, so... <clears throat> uh, all we've really got going for us right now is two damage upgrades. And... Um... Two damage upgrades and spider bite, which is nothing to sneeze at. Where I mean, we're doing we're doing fine, but uh, this is only going to last us for so long before we need another good item to kind of help carry us a little bit. So, uh, kamikaze flies do twice our damage, and um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much pretty much it. There's the <clears throat> there's the bomb that we needed last floor, of course, given to us conveniently at the beginning of this floor. So that sucks a little bit, but uh, what can you do? 
nothing. That's the answer. Absolutely nothing. So our damage is actually really good. So what what do I want now? Health upgrades, a speed upgrade, and ah, uh, tears upgrades. I guess we're going to the library. I actually didn't mean to do that. Hopefully a book of sin gives us something worthwhile. A key, that's actually pretty good. Pays for our trip in here. And the anarchist cookbook, which is actually a trash item. And we're not going to use it. <clears throat> Except maybe to blow up that... Um, that fortune... Or... Er, slot machine. <coughs> I apologize. For coughing and such and... I don't know. Wieners and... I don't know. All that. And like such and such like. I think it's such like. So now we just have to kill this champion gish thing. Uh, health upgrade. Oh, sweet mother baby Jesus, Lord Almighty. Okay, good. Um, so that helps us recoup the health that we lost previously. That was dumb damage for me to take. Um, so that helps us recoup the damage that we took earlier, which is awesome. And in addition to giving us that uh, heart container back, <clears throat> It shows us the potential we have to get additional health upgrade pills. So, I immediately regret coming in here. Uh, just kidding. I don't, actually. That is... Bombs are key, which is, I guess, fine. And a health upgrade. Okay, definitely worth it. Now we just need consumable red health. Because we're... We've got plenty of heart containers. They're just not filled, which is kind of an issue. Um, okay, I will check for the secret room there. <coughs> And promptly regret doing so. Um, mm -mm. Okay. I think what we're going to do... We're not going to play that slot machine yet. We're going to see what we've got going on. Because if it's a really hard or dangerous or bad room, what have you... <clears throat> we do have the unicorn horn that we can use. Okay. So I would love to buy a 15 cent compass. I would absolutely love to. However, there is a 3 cent heart... That I am tempted to buy, but not yet. So, I don't... I'm actually not sure why I opened the shop there. <clears throat> but regardless, uh... Okay, so there's another key. And... Okay, so this room is a little scary. Honestly, it is. Um, it's getting less scary, though, by the second. As long as we can get... There we go. Now we're 100% safe. That red heart is absolutely amazing. If you could just give me a few more of those, that would be great. And again with this room. Okay, took a hit of damage there, which um, cost us that red health we found in the previous room, which sucks, but what can you do? Sorry, I had to take a drink there. My throat has a tickle in it. <clears throat> so let's try and not take it. <clears throat> damage on this room again and okay that's good that's exactly what I was looking for more red health see sometimes you just gotta ask and you shall receive um okay this is scary but we're okay 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 so work our way over there and um hmm Okay, we'll fight the boss. <clears throat> Gertie, awesome. Should be a pretty easy fight, honestly. Because we have quite a few... Uh, we have uh, numerous advantages. And I'm going to press them all. Alright, so... Okay, we took a hit, that's fine. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, awesome, more health for us. And now that we've got that nub slowed, we can do that. And this is the nub I'm kind of worried about. So we'll see if we can't, like, angle some shots in there. Fuck it, we're going in. We're going in! And a range upgrade. Not exactly what I was, like, hoping for. But, hey, I mean, that's fine. Fine by me. Um, so the secret room can't be by the boss room. Can't be adjacent to the boss room. Okay, calm down. Uh, so I think it's to the right. Uh, I almost walked over the sp uh, spikes. I think it's to the right of the shop. So... <clears throat> We will use one of our bombs to check for that. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, God, was that good enough? I don't think it was. I'm gonna feel like a dumbass if it... Okay, it was. Fuck. Okay. Sorry. Um. Mm, that really sucks. Where else could it be? 
could it be to the right of the I'll check there honestly just because I'm curious it's not a good idea to use the our remaining bomb on it but I'm just kind of curious to see where it is if it is there okay it isn't that's what I thought um so that sucks <clears throat> but we do have six cents to spend on whatever we want to spend it on we could save it for the next floor however I would rather buy a I would rather buy a bomb with it okay so I mean yeah was it stupid to do that yes I'm not gonna deny that fact it was stupid to like waste bombs and then immediately buy another bomb <clears throat> however Oh shit, okay, I immediately regret that decision. I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. Anyways, so that was a little bit dumb of me, but I think we'll be fine. If that ends up killing me, well then, um, fuck me, right? Necropolis, oh, this sucks. This sucks a major dong. Um, looks like, okay. So Spiderbite is actually being a major bro right now. That would have been a real, uh, re that room would have been a lot shittier if we didn't have spider bite so glad we had it good item thanks for helping me out having my back so we just gotta pay a little bit of attention to these flies that they're spawning and we should be all right and not take any stupid damage um so oh yeah and i completely like kind of forgot to like mention the harlequin baby which is a solid uh familiar definitely a solid familiar um one of the higher damaging ones to damaging ones as well which is always nice uh, to add to our damage. So, uh, definitely glad we have Harlequin Baby. It's a good pickup. <clears throat> that chest is, I don't know, a chest. Not huge on my priorities list right now. Um, we're just going to fire in there and try our best to not get hit. Oh, boy. Um, okay, so that was a little scary, but we're all right in the end. Go ahead and pick that up and check out our item room, which is Dead Bird. Um, pretty shitty, but it's passive, so I guess we'll take it. Not gonna complain. We're just gonna move on. <sighs> the dead bird is, like, in the spider bite. That's nasty. Anyways, uh, let's check over here. And some, like, fishtula bits. Shouldn't be too bad, except if I do that, like a dumbass, and let myself get hit by that fucking nasty green turret of doom. Okay, I'm scared a little bit. I just want to be out of this room. Oh, god damn it. Why did I freaking do that? I hate myself. Okay, so this should be a fine room. We'll be able to deal with these guys no problem. Hopefully take no damage. That would be ideal. Um, however, you know, you can't always get ideal circumstances. As we evidently saw right there. Uh, two freaking greed dudes. This sucks. A big dong. So we're going to do this and make it out of here alive. We only have one heart. So in some situations, we are one hit away from death, which actually really blows because we're having a good run and we have a lot of go oh, we have a lot going for us. And I'd be sad to see it go. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? OK, so this is kind of terrifying, but I think we should be all right. Oh, God, that was so scary. Because he's a champion, too, and he would do one full heart of damage. Oh, man, this is just... Okay. Whew, that was stressful. Um, one bad room, and it could end, us all, end it all for us, honestly. So, I'm definitely on the edge of my seat. Is there... Ah, uh, there's no way I can get that heart. That sucks. Uh, God, we're just... Whew, whew. Keep holding on. Yeah. That just happened. Um. Go ahead and do this. Okay. Go ahead and do that. And that. Um. Um. Okay. So, here's where we're at. We're gonna do that. Speed upgrade. I'll take it. Awesome. So, that's, that's good not gonna like change the world doesn't change the fact that we still only have one heart oh god this is scary this is very scary um please turret dudes if you could just take out some of the fistula bits that'd be ideal however we all know that you can't always have ideal circumstances oh god no oh i'm so scared 
Oh, we are, like, no matter what, we are one hit away from death now. And I anticipate this room being our demise, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? Uh, we made a good run of it. We made a good run of it. No. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, um, that sucked. We made it our, we made a best effort, we made our best effort out of it. I took like f three hearts of damage just walking over spikes like a dumb idiot, but I guess you can't win them all. But you know what you can do is uh, thank everyone for watching and tell them you'll see them next time. All right, see you later, guys.